The number in Utah of West Nile virus cases in humans is the highest in a decade. 49 cases so far this year. Three people have died from the disease. As new specialist Mike Anderson discovered, there are likely a number of factors that have led to these higher numbers. Yeah, Dini, you know, the Utah Department of Health is looking into several other possible cases so we could easily get above 50 for the year. The last time we had a year like this was back in 2007, and since then it's been mostly about a couple of uh, cases a year until now. A lot of water plus a hot summer brought with it plenty of mosquitoes. It has been a very bu busy year for us. Yeah. Brian Hogart, manager at South Salt Lake Valley Mosquito Abatement, says it all created an unfortunate set of conditions for these little pests. Once temperatures get above a certain point, it, uh, the virus replicates in the mosquito better. But while those are all likely reasons for the highest number of West Nile virus cases in a decade, epidemiologists at the Utah Department of Health say it's hard to nail down for certain. Nationally, all of the western states, Arizona, Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, we've seen an increase year. Um, due to West Nile virus. Epidemiologist Dallin Peterson says most cases this year were from Salt Lake County, though increases for the most part were seen statewide. The best thing we can do is just ramp up for next year and, and start the education early. Peterson says to be sure and take preventative measures, although it's hard to say what we'll see next summer. With temperatures cooling off and mosquitoes winding down, Hogard says his crews will take time to look at how the season went. We will evaluate the this year and see what we can do better, what we can do different to possibly help with virus activity. But it'll be doing a lot of the same things that we've done in the past. But ultimately, a lot of it will come down to how well we prepare and protect ourselves. And Peterson points out there is no treatment for West Nile virus, so the best approach is prevention. Uh, the disease starts with a headache and body aches, but can later turn into brain swelling and even death. Back to you. Yeah, a little vigilance can go a long way in this area. Mike, thanks. Farmer